heart right now, I'm very saddened. Not like sad as in like, oh my gosh, I just, I totally regret ever putting this truck up for a giveaway. Not, not like that. The guy that's getting it, he's ecstatic about it. He watched every single video start to finish in the Nasty Red playlist. He's seen everything from when we bought this thing on the side of the road for five grand a few years ago to what it is now. All the quirks about it, everything we've had to fix and, you know, you know, refix on it. He's apparently freaking stoked about this whole thing. He got a t-shirt with Nasty Red on it. And that t-shirt with Nasty Red on it won them the one and only Nasty Red. And I'm sure there were a lot of you that bought that same t-shirt envisioning the same outcome. And I really hope I get to meet every one of you guys someday. We'd have to give away a lot of trucks to give one to every single customer, but I hope that someday I can somehow make that happen or in some way be able to give back more to every one of our supporters and customers and viewers. A lot of people say, like when they look at a vehicle or they look at the topic that of which you film your content around, they'll be like, well, Nasty Red is what made your channel what it is. You know, the first year that you guys had, that that's what made your channel. That, that truck got you where you were. The trucks never got us anywhere. The trucks were just a tool in the tool chest as an accessory of what we use to create content to get where we are, but you guys watching the videos and buying the merch, that's what got us where we are. It has nothing to do with the truck. The truck is just something that we turn the camera towards and film because we know that you guys like that stuff and we like that stuff, but the truck didn't actually build anything on the channel. The truck is just an item, it's just a thing. You know, so I just want you guys to understand that when it comes to this kind of stuff, like, it's, it's just a truck. And I know sentimentally, like, a truck can mean something to us because of all the different stages of life that we go through, having this hunk of steel on wheels in our life. But at the end of the day, it's just a truck. You know, the, what made this truck so special was the fact that you guys enjoyed watching it so much. You know, and I just want you guys to fully understand that. And we can create the same memory and the same feeling around another vehicle. Because at the end of the day, it's not about the vehicle, it's about what you do with it and how involved everybody was with it and the viewers and everything else. This here it is gorgeous this morning. Anyways, we're off to an early start. We're about to pull up to one of my dad's places here and uh, get the plow loaded up on here. Ah. I was less attached to it when I thought of it more as like the old 12 valve that we never really drove. It would it have been a lot easier to give it away if I just kept it the memory of this truck that we did all this work to and then we stopped driving it for the last two years. I wouldn't be so attached to it right now. Right now I'm attached to it because I've been driving it the last five or no, 6,000 miles now I've put on it. So now it's like, ah. Uh, Suck. We're almost here to the farm, so we're gonna have to turn this camera off and get to loading the plow on the bed here. One last pull with me behind the steering wheel right here. Camera is rolling. Last few moments with, with the nasty. With this strap down job, maybe I shouldn't be rolling. Wait a minute. Did you notice my lips were a little bit, they didn't work real well there. It's, it's a little cold out here. It is bittersweet. It always, it always is bittersweet. But this one's extra bittersweet. Yeah. And that cardboard didn't really work. No, well, it's, it's good. It just takes three tries. So we got the old plow strapped on there. We got the pallet it's sitting on. We got the deer rack system cage thing that I put together for it. And this is it. I mean, we're gonna get a little more video here once the winter arrives, but this is it. This is farewell to the nasty red 12 valve Cummins. Just because I don't ball my eyes, that doesn't mean I don't have any emotions, okay? I'm human too. Cut me some slack here. And I wanna say a huge thank you to Anthem. This is the first vehicle Anthem ever, ever sponsored that was on our channel 
Pusher, thank you so much. This was also, I believe, the first vehicle they ever sponsored and contributed towards parts and stuff on this thing. Huge thanks to you guys as well. It goes way back. In terms of my truck channel career on YouTube, this thing has been around since about the first year I started doing that channel which has been about four full years now. That's how long we've had this thing, it's about four full years. It was a lot of firsts with this thing. First compound turbo truck, first truck that we got some sponsorship stuff on. Um, it goes way back, you know? It, it does, it does. There will be others, there will be more. Hopefully we have another long-term project here soon. We've just got other goals, other things, and we've got almost, Almost one, we're about to cross 1,000 videos on the YouTube channel now, which is absolutely crazy to me. Because I used to post every single day. I used to post literally every single, every single day, but like I'd take some Sundays off here and there. But I used to post religiously like the first two years. And then in the last two years, I've posted a little more, sometimes on a schedule, then I change my mind and go back to just posting when I found a video that I really like to film. And, you know, I kind of like that method a little bit more for me now. I do have more going on in life, you know, with a wife a kid, a lot more bills, a lot more responsibilities. I, I just, I got a lot more stuff going on. I didn't really have anything going on when I started doing YouTube other than YouTube. That was everything I did. That was what I lived and breathed and everything I did was just YouTube. That's all I had going on in my life was freaking YouTube. We're gonna miss a nasty red and hopefully the winner will be here any moment now because I know he's freaking stoked to see this thing. No coming in second, this life is a lesson. He got a new engine from Ken, that's a blessing. New focus, no guessing, just bold an obsession. All in his possession, you got the retention. I leave an impression and take a redemption. Just kill no discretion. Your mind is a weapon. 11 11, it's time for progression. Oh! You could try to play, but you're never gonna be me. Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy. Bloody and stain from the people who deceive me. Muddy hands break through the chains, go free me. People like sheep move feet, hurt it easy. Roger's here. Here are the keys. Well, thank you, sir. Come around the corner here. You gotta get your first impression. That's amazing. <laughs> that is really amazing. Now you might want to turn it, it on and hop in there. The heat's amazing in that thing too. So <laughs> it's definitely one of my favorites too. Yeah. I'm actually gonna be a little bit sad to part ways with it. You know, I wouldn't have been as sad if I hadn't driven it for the last six thousand miles, and I'm like, crap. Yeah. Like when he was gonna send it to auction, I hadn't driven the thing in two years and I was like, eh, I'm not gonna miss it that bad. Cause wow. it just sat in the barn. I didn't really have much connection with sure. it for a while, but now I'm like, I was driving it all the time. I'm like, crap. I'm yeah. like, this thing is freaking sweet. Always wanted a 5.9, this'll fit in great. Absolutely, and the coolest part is, we might get to see it again right. out in that neck of the yeah. woods. Cause we're out there all the time, That's so. That's cool. I didn't realize how close to the Ohio border you are. Yeah, we're right there. Right we're, there. We're right on the line. And I grew up in Belleville. Yeah? Yeah, that's where all of our family's from. So we're up there all the time. That is cool. Mohegan, Belleville. Yep. Yeah. I mean, that's. that's I live. Our I can be at Mohegan Mohican State Park entrance in three minutes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm looking for property up in that area now. So. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, we love that area. <laughs> you do? Because what you'll notice about where you live compared to where we live, do you see any hills around here? I just got ton. Well, you know what? <laughs> Actually, so flat. from digging the ponds, there's a few yeah. little... You can see just a little bit of hills there. That's just, yeah. that's just make-believe stuff. <laughs> Look that way. <laughs> I, I've always wondered, watching your videos, yeah. especially the hunting side of it, I'm like, and then you say you cross over into Ohio. Yeah. I'm like, well, I guess I could see that. But man, it's flat. Oh, it is. It's very flat. It's like as soon as you get on the other side of Mansfield and Crestline, everything starts to get flat. Yep. Yeah. This is super cool. At work, so all the girls were like, I, I told them, they're all sitting there looking at me going, so you entered to win a truck, huh? I said, yeah, you just be another statistic. I said, yeah, well, we'll see. <laughs> and they're like, so when I got that call, I walked into the room and they're like, who were you on the phone with? I said, the sweepstakes people for that truck. You don't go tell us you want it. I said, that's what I'm telling you. Crazy, we've never met somebody to win something that significant. I'm like, well, now you have. You can do whatever you want with those straps. We put them on there. Uh huh. But however you feel safest to be able to get that down the road, that's on you. I, I trust <laughs> well, we put we put like one, <laughs> two, three, four. We put straps and chains there, so it should be good. But okay. I, I make mean, sure you feel good about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I mean, it looks here. Turbos, a lot more air, a lot more fuel. And, uh, 
so so it's actually like really cool. First acceleration. This is cool. Wow. It definitely got some get up. <laughs> you wow. like the two turbo deal, huh? Mm. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. <laughs> have you ever driven a stock 5912 out? I have, and it's they're not like this. No, they're slow. Yeah. <laughs> they're very cool. slow. They're pretty gutless, but this is wow. smooth. And you'll take a left here on this road right here. Yes. But just when you get down the straight road, give it give it the juice again like you did. You just feel how smooth the power lays into a fully mechanical 12 valve compound setup. Like, feel how smooth it is in the acceleration of the power. That is insane. Super, super smooth. It's very smooth. Wow. This is I, a cool truck. I think you're going to like it. I think I love it. <laughs> and the hat adds some horsepower, too. You're wearing That's the right. right hat. That's right. you got to have the right hat. you got to have the right hat. It's even better in person. Oh, it, oh. It's even better that it's going home with you. That's right. I mean, it's got to be a great privilege, a great honor to be the one to the take one. home the yes. truck. Yes, the truck. The fan favorite. This is a cool truck. And then you've got your gauges over there. Your bottom is your transmission. Your middle one is your boost. And your top is your exhaust temperature reading. Got it. So if you give it a little sauce, you'll see your boost pressure. <laughs> That's crazy. Now careful because she will hit 60 pounds of boost. <laughs> Your stock 12 valves don't do that. No, no. Final thoughts before you go. The compound turbos is spot on. Thank you, it Pusher. It will throw you in a seat. It's well done. The power delivery. It, it's smooth. smooth. Very smooth. Super smooth. Enjoy it. Yes, I will. The fan favorite truck, Nasty yes. Red. Yes. Loudonville, Ohio. Loudonville bound. I can't yep. believe it. I can't believe it. It was one of those either. trucks that I thought, we're never going to give this truck away. Right. And then I'm like, I'm going to give this truck away. Yeah. I told him, I said, if you ever get even the thought of selling this thing, this is one of the, there's not very many trucks that I give away and I'm like, I have to have that one back if it yeah. goes up for sale, just cause I could, you know, just replace it, just right. buy another one. But this is one that it's like I said, if you ever want to sell it for whatever reason, he said that's not in his radar, I would love to buy it back. And Priority I already call. I think you guys would love to see it back at some point, yeah. but if that can't happen, yeah. which I'm hoping it does, I'm hoping no, you want to keep I it. I want to keep it. But we might get to see it. Maybe we'll stop by sometime when we move Anytime. out your way. Anytime. Stop by and at least get an update yeah. on it. Anytime. Check on it. Sure. Go for a little drive. Yeah. Just to reminisce a little bit. Maybe going through bad. the hills. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Enjoy the truck. I will. I think you're going to. Yeah. And tell your son I said hello. I sure hello. will. What's his name? Brady. Hello, Brady. Enjoy the truck. Enjoy the t-shirt, enjoy the hat. Absolutely. I'm trying to hold back the tears right tears, now. Tears, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not really, but but no, I am gonna miss the truck. So yes, yes. enjoy it, man. It's a beautiful truck. Oh, God. Dang it! Oh, talk on. I think it looks better right there than it ever has too. Yeah, it's because it's leaving and we're not the ones in it. Suck. He's gonna enjoy it though. He was so freaking stoked driving that thing. It just looks meaty right now for some reason. Like it's it's the perfect farm truck, dude. It's such a versatile farm truck, race truck. That's it, right there. Well, now that we know what to do, if we have to do it again. Yeah, at least we know the perfect combination for a 12 valve. That's it. Right to it instead of yeah. a. I can't feel my hands though. I just, <laughs> my hands are gone. Yeah. They are. I may not have, but I feel like I have a big like blob of snot like right off the tip of my nose. So. I don't see any. Okay. Well, but now they're gonna look for yeah. it. They're gonna they're gonna enjoy. zoom in and everything. Yeah, enjoy. That thing looks narrow. I don't know. To me, that truck looks like it's struggling. Is it struggling? It's gotta be struggling. It's a Chevy, dude. Like. <laughs> Piece of crap. That rear chain is definitely loose though. That's gonna be the end of the video, the last day with Nasty Red. We said our farewells to Nasty Red. 
And although Nasty Red is gone, you still have the chance to enter to win this beautiful 24 valve Cummins wrapped in satin ocean shimmer blue plus $5,000 cash. So if you want to get entered to win this thing, go to lmpgear.com, place an order, and as soon as you check out, you're automatically entered to win. Thanks so much, guys, for all the love, all the support. Can't wait to meet one of you when you're coming to pick this thing up. I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.